Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, after Gashaga was impeached by the National Assembly, the next step is a trial chamber, the Senate. In the Senate, the National Assembly will have their representative in the chamber to lay their case. Gashaga will also have his side to defend himself. Then from there, the final decision as far as impeachment is concerned will be made after also investigation will take place. That is obvious. But then something happened. Immediately after Gashago was impeached by the National Assembly, we saw some individuals meeting regarding Gashago in an office. There was the presence of Gadon Wamushomba. The other one seems to be the Machako Senator, Kavindu. But I'm focusing on one man, the Nandi Senator, Samson Charge. The Shaga was seated. Um, these people were there to comfort the Shaga in his situation. The presence of Senator Samson Charge. What does it mean? Being aware that this matter will be taken to Senate, where Samson Tiarage will also have a chance to debate and vote. But he's here. So many questions are out here that Senator Samson Tiarage might be regarded as a ally. Despite the fact that he's coming from Rift Valley, where you expect the obvious that he will support the president position, with another fact that he was elected on UDA ticket, a party belonging to William Samuel Ruto. But Chalagay is here. Now, as far as the issue of impeachment, there are also other issues that Chalagay has been raising which also uh, point to a discussion. As far as is Kiraragay supporting Ruto or Gashagwa? Now, after meeting Ricardo Gashagwa, the next thing Kiraragay said was about extending more time during the impeachment of Ricardo Gashagwa in the Senate. For him, he believed that there need to be more enough time to discuss this impeachment. This is also pointing to a direction. Mr. Speaker, uh, looking at the directions that we are given, I want to agree with the Senate Majority Leader that this matter is very unique. It is uncharted territory. We are so used to impeachment uh, of governors as we have done before. Mr. Speaker, when you look at the understanding order 78 on Senate standing orders, and also, uh, Mr. Speaker, I needed your guidance and clarity on the process, because looking at standing order 78 on the removal procedure for removal from state office, which includes the removal of the president, Deputy President of the State Office, Mr. Speaker, I want to invite uh, Mr. Speaker to request when you read under, sorry, Mr. Speaker, I'm trying to get shared, second schedule of our standing orders, part one, procedure when considering removal in plenary, either the President or the Deputy President. When you look at rule number 12, subject to these rules, the hearing of the evidence, once it commends, shall proceed and continue on until the senator the senate concludes the hearing of the matter so speaker this extrapolates itself from uh, article 145 150 in the removal of either the president or the deputy president considering these are a matter of national interest and it will involve a lot of process evidence producing and many other procedures so speaker considering the immense would it be in order to request that, as per your direction, you increase even an extra day 
You know, Mr. Speaker, they say justice should not be seen, should not only be seen, but to be seen to be done. Oh, okay, Mr. Speaker. Order, Honorable <laughs> Senator. Mr. Order. Speaker, I'm happy. Let the Senator Fernandi say it the way he understands it. Yes. Proceed. Uh, and Mr. Speaker, I am directly translating from my college in mind, so members will have to bear with Mr. Speaker, justice should not only be done, but should be seen to be done, Mr. Speaker. You know, we went to group of schools, some of us. Mr. Speaker, the point I wanted to make is that since the plenary process will, ex will allow Kenyans to follow, would it be in order whether we convict or acquit? Because the law house, which was pre-trial chamber, and this is the real trial chamber, Mr. Speaker, where we shall be looking and setting precedent for future impeachment. I'm not predicting that there will be impeachment of president or deputy presidents in future. But, Mr. Speaker, the point I wanted to make, and I don't know why Senator Sifuna is irritated, You'll have your time. Why are you worried? Mr. Speaker, that is what I, I want to conclude by saying, Mr. Speaker, just add an extra day so that the accusers, which is the National Assembly, can have elaborate time to present their case, and also the Deputy President can have the time to present their case. So that, Mr. Speaker, when they move to another fora, they will have opportunity of not... Uh, of having the opportunity of being given a chance and the principles of natural justice. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for that indulgence. And I will probably be guided. Thank you. Now, as we continue with the panel discussion, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our return subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Now, by the fact that General Gay met with the Regalda Gashagwa is asking for more time, it seems he's going to vote no in favor of Regalda Gashagwa. There can be a possibility of that. Beside this, there's a discussion we did in the first video about the term limit. To qualify the statement that Chiran again might be a regarded man. Look here. When Chiran again came with the issue of extending term limit from five years to seven years, and uh, the public belief is that who you move to a route, then you come with this one, with that idea. You move to a and you move to a What's the meaning of this? From regard to Gashagwa's camp and Kenyans, they will believe that there is state house agenda being pushed through Samson Teragay. It is enough reason to make Kenyans to hate William Ruto, to think and believe that William Ruto wants to be a lifetime president. That alone, it is not a plus for William Ruto. It is something that will make William Ruto unpopular. So the Shagwa camp can be cleverly use some sort of game to represent such kind of documents, bring such a discussion in the public to create this perception and hang it with William Ruto. Hang William Ruto with that. That he's pushing for this. He wants to be a lifetime president. He's pushing the Shagwa out because he wants to maintain and have a deputy president who is his appointee who will be bowing down for him? John Gashaga says that the same Mimi na mashimu a rice to pick you a kura, then you walk a ballot. He will be impeached a quench. Whoever will come after Gashaga will never have, have some guts to say that I was on the ballot, elected together with the president. No. He's just an appointee of the president. Therefore, any other time, what happened to Gashaga can still happen to him. So he will be so much humble and sub submissive to the president. So another Kwan what Wakashaka they have drawn this, but give it to the to Teranegay uh, to represent it, then win through that lens that you see, who you and that be a boy. That's a possibility. 
So, you look at all this, you find that Tenerge comes out more of a Gashagwa person in all this discussion. Then also go and check on uh, how Tenerge has been uh, uh, reacting to the people appointed by William Ruto in the cabinet, CSS. Of course, he has been playing a good role, oversight. Kipchumba Murkumen. Chanaleke was pinpointing at Kipchumba Murkumen and he really hitted hard on him as far as incompetence. While he served as CS4, uh, transport, road, infrastructure, that. So, he has never been supportive to the cabinet side. But again, the flip side is also here. Chanaleke might be also a William Ruto small in Kashagwa's camp. Such so that he can be instructed to make such move, including even voting in favor of Gashagwa, but they will know that they have enough numbers to remove Gashagwa. But for Chanarake, just vote with Gashagwa. Stand with him. Defend him. Be where he is. Be his insider, but an informer of the government. So Gashagwa will see Chanarake as a friend. He can go to an extent of even abusing those who support the idea or even the president. You know what? Really, what were NIS who want to find a cars? Sometimes they even come out so strongly to oppose the government. So now, if you look how come they are here to collect information, we are not the kind who we are the more accurate to be a kind of what were NIS in Gashagwa's camp, so that he will be informing the government on every move they are trying to make. Here, another bigger now, our support. That's also another possibility. So that's the figure we are having there. I don't know your views, but let us, let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.